Welcome back everyone to more Farming Simulator 22 coverage here at Neepit Gaming. Today I wanted to do a short video about a new map that has been released on the mod scene for Farming Sim 22 and that is called Ottenburg. Now this map was just released uh, actually yesterday as of this recording. Now obviously with the official release of Farming Sim 22 being so recent, mods are still slowly starting to filter out so we don't have a lot of content yet but this is a map that caught my attention for a few reasons now we'll start off by talking about where i found the map here at the farming simulator 22 mods.com website and there are multiple places you can find this mod but this is one of the sites that i do frequent for farming sim content so we'll be taking a look at the map here before we head into the game to look at it in more detail. So the Ottenberg map is not quite to a version 1.0, so you may expect some changes, bug fixes, things of that nature, but I have spent some time on the map with my own gameplay, and so far so good. I'm really liking the layout, and that's why I wanted to do a short video on it today. Now here at the bottom you see some, uh, some thumbnails for various parts of the map, but again, we'll be headed into the game here momentarily to look at it in more detail. But the biggest reason for this video today is because this is a smaller map with a focus on, uh, I believe it makes it perfect for a single player or a small group of people who really want to work together on a single farm. There's not going to be a lot of room for people to spread out and do their own thing here, but if you have one or two players that really want to work together on fields, then I think this is perfect and I really like the layout. So with that in mind, let's head into the game and take a little deeper look. Now that we've got the map loaded in game, the first thing we need to talk about is the traffic. The traffic is non-stop and it is heavy traffic. In fact, you can see there is a steady flow of traffic around this, which is the only paved road in the game. So one of the first things I had to do on the map was turn the traffic off uh, because after a little while, it started to cause some issues because as you can imagine, you start purchasing equipment from the storefront. Well, the storefront is located just off the side of this road and it can really make it difficult to get your equipment back and forth between the storefront, the field, storage, and so on. So yeah, that was the first thing I did was to turn off the traffic. Let's now bring up the map so that we can talk about the location of certain things on the map, starting with the main farm area. Now I prefer to play in farm manager mode, which is gonna give you one and a half million dollars, but no equipment, no fields, no buildings. Well, on this map, it's a little bit different because you are going to have some equipment. You don't have any buildings or fields, but you do have quite a bit of very nice starting equipment. So our main farm area is centrally located on the map with four fields in the immediate vicinity. And we're going to see those as we move around and take a look at the beginning area. So we start off with the farmhouse. Now the trigger to sleep is right here on the side of the farmhouse and three of the four, four fields that are in close proximity to the main farm area are planted with grass. So immediately you can tell you've got plenty of room here and a great starting location if you're interested in working with animals. So next to our farmhouse we have storage. Now the good news is unlike the default maps in the game, these doors work. These storage facilities are functional. So very nice area there. Then we come over to our silo with very nice area for drop off as well as pickup. There's again, one of our fields that surrounds the main farm area. And then you have field one, uh, the first numbered field around the main farm area. And this is traditionally going to be um, already planted with something. I believe the first time I loaded up the game, it was corn, but you can, uh, you can tell this is going to change every time you load uh, a brand new game. So right now it looks like it's not actually planted with anything. So here's what you have on one side of the main farm area. Now let's move across the road and try not to get run over if possible. And you can see we've got two way traffic here. It's not just going in one direction. We're gonna have more storage over here. We open this up. There is your repair area. 
and then we get into more storage and we begin to see our starting equipment so again very nice storage buildings here in the main farm we've got a couple of tractors here and then you're going to see a lot of equipment related to working with grass and hay tedders wind rowers you get the idea there is a compactor for your silage silo then we get into uh, a basic harvester we got a forage wagon over here a trailer and then again more hay working equipment but again very nice and very large storage areas more storage here on the other side with some more implements we look like we've got a cedar a cultivator and then we've got uh, some mowing attachments but taking a look at these initial three fields uh, of grass there is a lot to get you started now as I mentioned before I prefer farm manager mode which traditionally does not give you any equipment buildings or land to get started with so as sort of a workaround I assume by Toon War the author of this map he has greatly reduced the price of the starting area so let's go back to the map so again here is our starting area here's where we're currently located on the map here are our three grass fields and then field number one that currently does not have anything planted if we go to farmland to make our first purchase you notice that your initial purchase is going to give you three fields and it is dirt cheap twelve thousand five hundred dollars so you're going to have plenty of money again if you're playing on farm manager mode you're going to have a lot of money left over for purchasing additional equipment and or any animal enclosures if you decide to go that route in your gameplay but three fields right off the initial purchase and then the other field nearby the other grass field is 114,000 so you can see for around 120,000 you're going to have four fields and all of the initial storage on the farm I also want to point out that the author has also made the starting price for field two at only $8,500 so it's pretty clear where the author is giving you opportunities to get started with your game now if we branch out and go to some of the bigger fields such as field three six and eight you can see that the prices go up around 400 grand here or around two to three hundred grand on some of these others so you definitely have uh, some work to do if you want to continue expanding into some of these other fields but the initial cost of getting started particularly in farm manager mode are going to be extremely low now another thing I want to point out before we actually go through the map and take a look at some of the additional uh, selling points as well as production facilities are that the BGA which is located right over here biogas is here you're going to have to purchase the silos at the biogas facility if you decide to use those so you notice we can click on those we can't click on the area and actually buy the ground uh, and the area around the biogas facility but what we can do is purchase these two silos once again they are very reasonably priced you're going to spend what 13 14 grand for the two of them combined so you're not going to spend a lot of money on land at the very beginning so if you want those silos they are available and are very reasonably priced now if we come out of land purchase mode and actually take a look at the map itself so here is the main paved road that we've been taking a look at it runs throughout uh, the entirety of the map at least in the main areas that you're going to need to visit to either purchase or sell your goods now again here's our main farm area so if we look down here we've got a cereal factory of course your biogas uh, here on the western side of the map but then here in the southern southwestern part of the map you've got a lot of areas that are very clustered in a small section of the map so we have great processing we got a farmers market for one of your selling points a grain mill oil mill pizzeria for another selling point your dairy a restaurant for a selling point and then you get into the sawmill there are a lot of trees around this map not, definitely not a logging map per se but a lot of trees nonetheless and plenty of area if you do want to begin planting some trees and creating that gameplay then we have our grain elevator 
our bakery, a gas station, and then here's your storefront. So you can see the storefront, it runs right along this paved road, and that's where I was having some of my issues getting equipment moved around the map. So there's a basic overview of the map. Uh, a couple more things that I do want to point out is I've had a few bugs on some of the fields where it would show that something was planted and the AI workers would not choose to work that. So some small bugs here and there for me, but nothing that I would consider to be game breaking uh, or certainly not any bugs of the nature that would cause me to rethink playing the map at all. Again, this map is not quite to version 1.0, so I'm sure there'll still be a few changes here and there, maybe a few things to be added to the map before version 1.0, and maybe a few bug fixes along the way. But overall, a very nice map, a lot of room to operate for either single player or a small group of folks that want to work together on the fields. That's going to do it for today. Thank you guys so much for joining me, and stick around for more. Farming Simulator 22.